Hey, what's up, Coach Colin Castella, and welcome to the vlog for today. Now, I don't haven't done a ton of vlog stuff in the past, um, but I decided to try to do one today. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna hit this clinic real quick. I'm in McMinnville, Oregon. Um, so we're gonna hit a clinic, then I got a couple personal training sessions that I picked up, and then later this evening, I'm gonna go to the Blazers game. We got some really sick seats, and then hopefully I'll maybe even get kind of some backstage access, maybe some interviews, we'll kind of see how it all goes down. But uh, stick with me today, and hopefully we'll get some cool content. Now, one thing I really want you to do to help me out is go ahead and right next to the subscription button down below, there's a little bell icon. Hit that little bell icon if you wanna see our videos. YouTube's actually kind of been messing with our videos and not sending them to all our subscribers. Um, and this is something that's kind of affected a lot of YouTube channels. And I think what they're doing is, I don't know, they're trying to limit the reach of your videos or something. I don't really know exactly what. So basically, if you hit the subscribe button, it's not really enough anymore. You've kind of got to hit that bell if you actually want to see the videos. I've had a lot of people in the last couple weeks say, hey, I'm not seeing your videos anymore. Why don't you post anymore? Um, I even ran into a buddy the other day who was like, hey, man, do you even make videos? Like, I'm like I'm always on the lookout, but I never see them on my watch page. So if you want to see the Shop Mechanics video, and we got some fire content coming down the line, all you got to do is hit that bell icon right next to the subscription button. That way you can make sure that every time we upload a new video, it'll come directly to you and if you can do that it means a ton to me um, you know and that way we can make sure that you're still viewing the videos and you're still getting them if that's what you want all right so let's hit this day Luke, what is your one? For real. We got the fire alarm up here. Hey, we got the fire alarm up here and we're still out getting buckets. So Luke, what is your number one key to hitting more shots? Yeah, hey, it's all in the hips, baby. It's all in the hips. All right, session two of the day. I'm here with Macy. She's an absolute sniper. We're working on her power, her range. We had her out by the volleyball line a second ago. But now we're just working on some quick shooting. All right, Mason, let's get it. Woo! You can shoot from all over the place, huh? Yeah. What's your nickname now? Step Back. Step Back Macy. Yeah. We rocking today. Oh, we got the three stripe. Harden LS, my guys at East Bay. Yeah, boy. Oh, third one of the day. <laughs> All right, so we are pulling into the parking garage. I'm here with Coach DJ Shaw. What's up, Splash Army? We're going to hit this uh, Blazers game. Blue buckets. And DJ hooked us up with some sick seats. So hopefully we'll get some good stuff for you guys. Um, but yeah, it's been a good day so far. We got some training in, got a clinic in. Now we're going to catch a little basketball. We'll see you on the inside. What up? We are here at the Blazers Clipper game. Running a courtside, watch a little bit of warm ups. Check them out. Uh oh, Lou Buckets. Lou Buckets. Overall, beautiful lighting, beautiful facility in here at the Moda Center. Uh, so, DJ, who do you think's going off tonight? That guy that uh, is shooting over there, that's my guy. He's going off. <laughs> if not, he's shooting 50 times. For those of you who don't know, uh, Coach DJ is a massive Lou Williams fan. So, uh, he thinks that he's going off tonight. I think it's going to be Dame time. I even brought the Dame shirt out, in effect. I'm wearing the Dame 4s. Shouts to my guys over at East Bay for the hookup on those. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to get a pretty pretty darn good game out of this one right here. What's up, bro? How you doing? Good. What, does he know me? What's going on? Where'd he go? He's like, he must be somebody. <laughs> Somebody's got to know him. All these kids watching your videos. Hey, 
do? This is my guy Colin, shop mechanics, basketball training. Okay. All right, man. Nice to meet you, my brother. Draw your Instagram handle. DJ OG1. DJ OG O N E. The man right yeah. here. This is the man I'm, right I'm, here. I'm the man next to the man. Okay. 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 don't know, Shabazz Napier, who's behind me warming up, is an absolute monster. The dude can stroke. Just look at that. Pretty, pretty. Yukon, one of Yukon's finest. got to know about Portland fans is that they absolutely love their Blazers and while we are here the Blazers are red hot they currently have the three seed in the West um, and they are playing some tight basketball and unbelievably coach DJ knows literally every person we bump into not sup what's going on guys Tuck what's up hey what's up? Tuck shoot uh, Tuck is a phenomenal photographer takes a bunch of pics for the Blazers show us a little Instagram uh, file what do you got what's your name Yo, if you like NBA pictures and all that sort of good stuff, you gotta check them out. We're out here in front of the Blazers game, getting ready to head in. We've got the iconic Rip City. Oh, what's up? Give me something. Give me something. Who's gonna win tonight? Blazers! 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 Shot mechanics on three. One, two, three. Shot mechanics! None of them knew who I was, but they're hyped about it for some reason. Ha! Oh, that's making it in. That's making it in. That's making it in. time favorite player when I was a kid so this is cool to be able to get in and see the jersey oh yeah okay work it are you filming or are you taking a photo oh, you're, you're on me oh, <laughs> Oh, 
focus doesn't work that fast. I'll look you up, man. All right, yeah. Like and subscribe. I will. Lordy, they go, they go hard in the PDX. Your Portland Trailblazer. Not only the Portland reflects the passion that the league and its players have for giving back to their communities. Portland Trailblazers own C.J. McCollum, being recognized by the NBA for his outstanding efforts. We're going all the way down, folks. so far been a little bit of dame time you know one thing that a lot of people don't realize is when you're close to an nba court like you can really see how physical these dudes are they're long they're big there's dunks all over the place like if you look at a guy like deandre jordan the dude is an absolute freak and when you watch him run around the court he is incredibly fast right same thing if you look at a guy like zach collins on the portland side that dude is huge he's long and he's athletic and just the hand-eye corners you guys have is unbelievable so if you are a player right you got to realize if you want to play at the highest level you possibly can you got to work on your skills the other thing that's super apparent as you're watching an nba game up close is how good of shooters these guys are when we were watching the pregame shoot around even the guys who are like not great shooters are still waxing shots all over the court so you know, there's a lot of players that'll dog on an NBA guy for, you know, his shooting, not being that great of a shooter, you know, a lot of times the big guys. But in all actuality, they're pretty darn good shooters, all of them. I know exactly how important shooting is at all levels. It doesn't matter if you're in the NBA, you're at the college, you're at the high school, you're at the junior high. If you can shoot the ball, you're going to get more playing time. So, I mean, out here, look at, we got... Just waxing J after J in the corner, right? So really, if you, if, you, if you can do one skill, if you can work on one skill, I would start out with shooting because it opens up your entire game. If you look at a guy like Lou Williams out here right now, who's a borderline all-star this year, right? You know, he's a little older, he's not super explosive, he's not, you know, getting up and dunking on guys necessarily, but the dude controls tempo and he can shoot the ball, so he's always a threat no matter where he's at. So if you can do that as a player, you're gonna be way ahead of the game.
All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shaw Mechanics Basketball. Big thanks to the NBA and the Portland Trailblazers for hosting Coach DJ Shaw and I today. We just finished the workout that kicked us off the court. I'm going to put my head down because we got more clinics tomorrow. Till next time, splash on.